Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today we've got the first first reveals for the new structure deck R Onslaught of the Fire Kings. We've got, I think, four new cards today uh, revealing for them. Um, I think it's a new extra deck monster. I think it's a couple new main deck monsters and a spell. Very, very interesting. Fire Kings need a ton of new support, so hopefully this gives them exactly what they need. I'm not going to lie to you, I don't feel super, super great at the moment, but I'm going to force it through and I'm going to hopefully give you guys uh, a good explanation on what we're looking at with these cards. So, first off and foremost, we have Fire King Deity Garunix Eternity. This is a rank 8 3k 2000 Fire Pyro Exceed monster. It's a, uh, any, it takes any two level 8 monsters, so it's completely generic for level 8s. You can only use the first, second, and third effects of this card once per turn. So three new effects. If this card is Exceed Summon, you can destroy all other monsters on the field. That's pretty good for a generic rank 8 by itself. Also, the artwork, by the way, on this looks amazing. This looks really, really cool uh, artwork-wise. Second effect, you can detach a material from this card. Uh, target a spell or trap card on the field, destroy it, and if you do, this card gains 500 attack. So this card not only wipes the board on some, but then it's able to pop a back row as well. And if this card with material is destroyed, you can special summon a Fire King monster from your graveyard up to the number of materials this card had. So if it did have two materials, you can just summon two monsters back, which is quite good. All in all, I think that's a pretty good generic rank 8 Exceed monster. I think this card is almost, you know, for for Fire Kings, we'll see everything they get. But I do think also from a generic sense, this is a pretty exciting rank 8 monster generically. Uh, so we'll see uh, what comes out of that as well. Okay, cool. Moving on. We have Sacred Fire Grunix. Uh, Sacred Fire Grunix. Yeah. Level 8 Fire Wing Beast Effect Monster. 2717 for the stats here. Again, looks very cool. Uh, I always thought Fire Kings had really cool artwork. You can only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn. If your monster, whose original attribute is Fire, is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when the monster was destroyed, or hand even if not okay so cool extends itself on the field if any fire monster you control is destroyed second effect if this card is normal or special summon you can destroy one beast beast warrior or wing beast monster in your hand or hand deck or face of field and if you do this card gains attack equal to half the attack of the monster destroyed had until the end of this turn that's really really nice the fact that you can destroy from deck i did not think they would go that route but they did and that helps out a ton here being able to destroy uh, any of the like the level four fire kings from deck or even lower uh, and then use their effects to summon from deck search on end phase any of that stuff is really really nice the fact you don't have to destroy an active resource on uh on field or in hand is really really good this card seems really good to me this is just a super simple like power creep of the original garunix and i really am here for it i think this is a really really much better version very cool okay moving on here we have uh fire king high avatar kieran so this is like the uh the next level of kieran kieran's one of the smaller monsters they have Level 8 Fire Beast Effect Monster, 2800, 2000 attack, okay. You can only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn. You, during the main phase of this card is in your hand, quick effect. Destroy one other fire monster uh, in in your hand or on the field, and if you do specials on this card, very interesting. The deck has not really had, oh, excuse me has not really had a quick effect way to like pop its own cards but that's really nice to be able to not only pop something and and trigger its effects and clear it off the field but doing uh doing it as a quick effect on the opponent's turn is really nice and if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard you can special summon a fire king monster from your hand or graveyard except for itself then you can destroy one card on the field okay so this card gets itself on the field and if you had any way to destroy this card and not only is going to get you a summon back from any of the fire kings 
but also non-target destroy a card on the field. That's that's pretty nice as well. Okay, we're seeing some pretty good cards here. I'm honestly not super disappointed with these, to be honest. All right, the last card we have here today is Sanctuary of the Fire Kings. It's a continuous spell card. Hopefully it's a good starter. You can only activate one card of this card's name per turn. When this card resolves, you can place a Fire King Island from your deck uh, face up in your field zone. That's actually pretty good. Fire King Island is one of the bigger, better starters. I think it destroys a card to search you a Fire King. So if we're getting better quality Fire Kings anyway, that makes that card better. But also being able to destroy your own Fire Kings, uh, which is going to trigger them anyway to get better, more resources off of that in the long run anyway, is also pretty decent. Second effect, once per turn, if a card in your field zone would be destroyed by card effect, you can destroy a fire monster uh, in hand or face up one field instead. Okay, so it gives you a way to protect the Fire King Island you search, which is also uh, really nice because I think Fire King Island has one of those stipulations where it, like, if it's removed, it like wipes your own board anyway, which you don't always want to happen. So that's that's pretty good as well. And the third effect, once per turn, if your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, you can immediately after this effect resolves, exceed summon a fire exceed monster using only fire king monsters you control as material. Now, I don't know about the rank fours. I know there's definitely going to be some fours we can make off of this effect. Uh, but I think the bigger one is definitely going to be just make the new rank eight on the opponent's turn to then wipe their whole board. That's actually pretty good. I like that this is really easy to trigger your opponent just has to special summon period and you get to pretty much raigeki their board if you had two eights on the field or maybe you had two uh fires now this does need a fire exceed that's the only downside to this is that this doesn't say uh summon any exceed using fire king monster control it does have to summon a fire so i don't know the list of fire exceed monsters off the top of my head just yet um, but that's definitely something to look into uh, for sure. But all in all, I think this is a pretty good first wave. I mean, keep in mind, this is a, uh, a structure deck R, so it should be getting eight total new cards. This is only the first four, so this is only halfway there at all. And um, hopefully the other half of the cards really, really come through and uh, really help Fire Kings kind of round about and, and, and function really, really well. But... All in all, I'm pretty impressed here. I think the generic rank eight's pretty good. I think the new Grunix is actually pretty good, all things considered. The fact they can summon from hand or uh, grave is really nice. So just get it in grave and like as the duel goes on, you can um, definitely uh, like rotate this guy um, over and over again, which is really nice. Uh, Kirin being a quick effect to, to extend is really nice, and then. The field spell or the continuous spell as well, getting you the field spell that's one of the better starters in the archetype, as well as a really nice consistency booster. All in all, I, I think we're in a pretty good spot here. I think this is a pretty good first wave. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect, but this is some pretty good stuff. Stays in theme, destroying your own stuff, fire based, all that stuff, but um, not out of the realm possibility. I think this is a pretty good. Um, representation of what we could have expected from the Fire King support. Um, all in all, though, if you're a bigger Fire King fan than me and you know more about the archetype in general, please let me know in the comment section down below your overall thoughts on these new cards. Are they exactly what you wanted? Are they underwhelming, overwhelming? Please let me know where you land on those. I think they're pretty par for the course for what I was expecting, but that's not a bad thing because I was expecting pretty good stuff, and I think this is pretty good stuff. So, uh, not upset. So I'm out of here for today. Thank you so much for watching as always guys. Please let me know your thoughts uh, overall down in the comment section down below and I will keep you guys uh, posted with any more news that comes out for the next probably two weeks at least. <laughs> We've got a lot of news coming out in the next two weeks and this is a really cool start to it. So I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.